The French and the German, they went to war before. The Americans and the English, they went to war before. And they killed a lot of each other on each side. But today, they all take collective decisions. Whatever they decide is what the rest of the world follows. I think that's enough to be a lesson for us all. After Allah has mentioned the importance of diversity, that he is the one who did that, he says so that we can understand each other. So therefore, if someone else is of a different tribe or of a different nation, you have to meet that person and ask, who are you, what's your name, where are you from? Or you introduce yourself to him or her. If we are all the same, then that's irrelevant. You don't need to do that. But it's because when you meet in Islam, when you meet your fellow Muslim, whatever his origin is, and you say to him, Assalamu alaikum, you are rewarded. Allah pays you for saying that. Therefore, there is a consequence for that diversity. Allah ended the ayah by saying, the most important to him, the thing that he looks to most, is the one who is conscious of him, is the one who is pious, is the one who is fearful of him. So despite your situation, despite your background, that is what Allah does to We should always think about that first whenever we meet. Whenever someone wants to bring division within us, we should remember that. Before that ayah, there is another important ayah that came. That ayah is talking about backbiting. Allah compared backbiting to eating the dead soul of your fellow human being. When somebody passes away, his body is lying down, you go and cut a piece of that skin and eat it. That's the way it looks like when you talk behind somebody. So if we are not united, that's what I'll be doing. This guy is not fuller. I'll just be talking about him and his tribe behind him. So it's like me eating his flesh when he's dead. Look how unclean that is. That's the way Allah compared it. Then he 